My, my Scott Chicago, only way to keep calm is trouble words, have a serene mind. Uh, Buddha said, what's the use of claiming something is yours when even the moon is used as a public light? So today we got the super moon night, um, eclipse, but God used it as a public light. Uh, and I went to church one time and I gave a book called The Man in the Mirror. And it said, life is a big question mark, God is a big answer. What's the question he's to answer? No matter how down, up, tired, or strong, be friends, hurt or happy, rich or broke, famous, unknown, God is answering your problems. God could be a shield, no problems work and harm me. So uh, I pray to be calm and let nothing upset me. Be calm, be true, be quiet. Do not get emotionally upset by anything that happens around you. So I don't have to react. Whether we're like a loose garment, I don't react. I must control my emotions and my emotions control me. I can only control what's in the mirror. It's my own best friend. Happiness comes from then. So every time the sun rises, I think of my life just beginning, so I'm glad to be still above ground. The air is free, the moon is free, you know, the sun is free, that's God's creation. God commands the sun whether you like it or not. It's going to rise when he tells it to rise. The moon going to come when he tells it to command. So God could be a shield. No problems the world can harm us. So we're the world like a loose garment. So I'm happy today. It happens not a result of wealth and luxury, but spiritual understanding. Going back to the gems of wisdom, book I used to walk around with. It said, wealth is what you think of it. One man streaming in rich and money possessions, but poor freedom is constantly watched. So um, happiness comes from then. You take a fool and put him in a mansion, he's still a fool. It's not what you possess, who you are, the position you hold where you're located at that makes you happy. Happy is what you think about. Our best friends, our worst enemies are our thoughts. A thought could do you more good than a banker, faithful friend, or a companion. A thought can also do you more harm than a brick. So you are what you think about all day long. As a man thinking, so is he. So I'm thinking about this meditation I, 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 I memorized. Uh, many years, about 39 years ago, 40 years ago, I was going downtown, couldn't, couldn't buy the it called, book called Meditation of the Masters. And it said, if one wears shoes, the pebbles on the road will not harm his feet. If one remains calm under any conditions, the pebbles and life will not cause you pain. See, uncalm times are the only times when the evil can find an interest. That's why I don't watch the news. Evil finds an interest to worry, anger, and fear. So I ask God every day to help me to be too lost for worry, be too strong for fear, and be too noble for anger. Fear is a dark room where we develop negatives. I pray to have no fear.